What's up guys, and of course, welcome to another Wi-Fi Battle with your Skrill, of course, the Scarender. And today we're going up against Markers or Swaglet in our NUCL match, basically, for the third week. And we had this battle not too long ago, actually. Um, really, really nice game. Uh, looking to my opponent's team here, or his, basically his draft, I knew it was very weak to Psychic move, so it wasn't really that fast. Though he has Scyther, but it didn't decide to use it, which I thought was awkward. Uh, because Scyther is really, really good against me. That's why the Rhydon is here in the first place. And I actually have a Violite Bulky Rhydon this time. To get with Pelipper, to kind of fend it off. Um, that's really its only purpose. Outside of that, I have a Specs Mag Magmar. Uh, Specs um, Mesprit, Nasty Plot, um, uh, Mizumagus, and Pangoro Scarf, I believe. I uh, just needed a filler Pokemon. I knew it was very weak to Psychic moves, so I decided to bring something with that in mind. I actually have three Pokemon that are weak to Psychic and uh, not that specially bulky. Now, Magmar or Magmar could be specially oriented, of course, obviously. And uh, I decided to have a little more special defense, be able to take two Lava Plumes uh, from it in case it's scarfed on my Miss Major, so it should be able to fend off some special attacks. But outside of that, he has no Pokemon that can outspeed me, so once I set up a nasty plot, there is very, very little reason for me to not win this game. Um, so yeah, that was basically my main idea. If um, Swaylet has any ideas or tricks in mind, he's gonna get them for this win. Uh, I'm gonna play hyper aggressive and hope something breaks through. So, with all this in mind, guys, let's go. So, alright, I actually started off with Pangoro, and I don't really know for what reason. Now, mind you guys, Pangoro is here as an Enemon, uh, so it has the X and Y moveset. So it makes kind of sense. Pangoro is not really that good uh, outside of the um, really, really nice move it got here with the Mewtwo. So anyway, he will start off with Bearander being, of course, the Spinda. And uh, there's really nothing I can do, and there's nothing really he can do. Uh, so I think I decided just go for a crunch, just going for damage. And it's going to go to his Politoed, the Polywrath. And uh, this was probably my biggest issue throughout this match. And now look at this crunch, you will see that... Uh, uh, I'm wasting my time, if anything, and I shouldn't really have gone for Crunch in the first place. Uh, Storm Pro would have been a superior choice anyway, but you know what, you do what you do, and obviously I'm scarfed into that, so change of tactics. So I'm gonna bring Quank instead, and he's actually gonna miss the Hydro Pump, but luckily for him, you know, the Hax is definitely not in my favor this battle either, uh, so he's gonna go for a Hidden Power Electric, and I was like, ah shit, ah shit, ah shit. Uh, and we don't take that well at all, and um, I'm gonna miss the air slash, so yay! Getting kinda worse, kinda worse. But at the same time here, um, I have no reason to actually keep my Polyrath, or Polyrath, my uh, Pelipper around anyway, he's pretty much wasted it, where Outsider is definitely don't have any real purpose, and it's not like it's a um, Pokemon I can fend off Sand Slash anyway, so I decided to go to Mesprit, like I said, I'm Spec, so Spec Psychic should hurt, and it should hurt a lot. And um, he's gonna, of course, switch out, not gonna risk that, and gonna go to his Engage, which is his Magmortar. And um, this Psychic tells me that his Assault Fest, even though I do 50%, uh, it should definitely have done more than that. And uh, luckily, uh, he's feeling threatened out, so now I know he's not Scarfed, it's definitely his Assault Fest with that damage. So he's gonna go bring back Bearander, and uh, well. This is gonna hurt. Uh, but here's the thing. He's gonna go for fake out again. I know he packs a sucker punch. I don't know he's gonna be prior damage. I still got four in, which of course is right on. And I can just get off my rocks. I need some get some nice residual damage. Rhydon can't really do anything this spell anyway. Because his team matchup is just so good against it. So he's gonna show me superpower, which of course is always that pleasant. And um, yeah, like I said, this is really not gonna do. I'm just gonna go for the rocks. The residual damage here could be important against, uh, if I set up with my Miss Mages, which is my plan from now on here, um, then I'm gonna be able to, with the left or the Stealth Rock damage, to actually break through much better and force a lot of his mons down. Now, Earthquake will, of course, take him out, even though I has two superpowers behind him. I'm still a ride on, the, you know, still with that 110, 120 uh, attack, so it's not, you can't really <laughs> void that off. So anyway, Bob is gonna come in, and here's where I make a strange play, because I was so sure that Drain Punch would take me out, it actually doesn't, uh, that I went for a Dragon Tail, which makes this kinda worse, because going for Dragon Tail means that he actually gets the chance here to bring, or rather, 
he gets in sand slash. That's that's like oh shit, uh, because now he can rapid spin. So I just pressed um, stealth rock. Basically, um, wanted to try to get my rocks up before I go down, but he just going for knockoff. Luckily, I should say, and foreign is gonna go down. So yeah, from here on out, I do have the nebula, the mist medius, and I have the cover battery to actually be able to take dark. Uh, dark damage hits basically. So I'm gonna go for that nasty plot because that should put me in an area where I should be able to take out any of his mons really. And uh, the cover battery is gonna kick in, and that still hurts like a lot. Um, but anyway, I'm just gonna go for Shadow Ball. He's a safer play. He's actually gonna switch out, and his switch out to engage with the core just will fall. Um, I mean, with self rocks and all this, Magmore is definitely whittled down, and without getting rid of the self rock, this is gonna be tougher. Um, so yeah, awesome, Magmar, Magmar is gone. So here come Guns and Roses, which is his Vile Plume. And here is where something really, really unfortunate happens. Because I'm going to go for Shadow Ball, it's not going to kill. I was basically decided I had to go into my mess to finish off this game. Uh, he's going to go for Giga Drain. And I actually have a 55% chance of being KO'd here. Um, but that did not happen, and the roll was definitely in my favor. Yes, of course, we're gonna take him out with a Shadow Ball. Uh, the reason I say this is because I have some special defense investment, but that defense investment was not made for that one. It was made for Magmortar, like I said, to not be too killed by Lava Flume. So anyway, he's gonna bring Bob here, and I do have Dazzling Gleam because the combination here was just so important. I actually have Power Gem too, if in case Scyther was part of this game. So, um, Swaglet here on Marcus will actually give up. Yes, only I do believe Sand Slash left, and... Uh, I think he has one more, it's been incredibly weak to Miss Major, so he's just gonna forfeit. You know, I get that. It was definitely a very nasty start <laughs> or end to this battle, of course. So yeah, that was actually my first win in the NUCL, finally. Been waiting forever to do that. And of course, you know, I didn't prep that well, I didn't really do that. I just, I, I saw the exploit of the you know, psychic moves on his team, and basically went with it. Hoping that something would break through, and it actually worked this time. Simple tactics, but... Um, usually, I, I settle for simpler tactics in the NUCL. It's just, I do want to win, of course, but um, the reason I do it mostly is because of the other leagues are taking more time. There are tougher overall opponents, so the NUCL kind of gets shafted aside. Uh, it doesn't mean that the players in the NUCL is, is worse, it just means that the matchup are more manageable by default, and I should be able to do better. Uh, with that said, I have lost two times, so it's not that easy. Um, and that, of course, frustrates me a little bit. Uh, though my first loss was actually against Stall Asher, which was fine. And my second loss was actually against an opponent, uh, Ethan or Spielwith, which actually played a better game, so he deserved that win. So this was probably the first time where I actually felt that, you know what, I did some major plays here, I, I deserve this win. But with that said, I also felt bad for Marcus because I do recognize that he actually was planning really well against me. It just, it didn't work against me. Or rather, I probably didn't bring what he thought I would bring. Um, and of course, Miss Major's being, uh, being a part of this team now, I actually switched that out for... I do believe I switched it out for Victory Bell, I gave that one up. And it helped plenty. Um, it definitely is a threat in this kind of... Uh, in this kind of environment, and, we're, and I'm, of course with a nasty move, so it really, really, really works well. Uh, so yeah, you know, before actually ending this, I'm... Like I said, this is probably gonna be my last upload for this week. Don't know if I'm gonna get some time throughout the um, week to actually do something else. And if so, I really want to wish you guys, of course, a uh, Merry Christmas, if anything. And uh, I hope you have a great holidays. I mean, I'll see you before the New, Year, New Year's Eve, at least. But uh, as it stands for now, I'm actually going to go away during, the, during Christmas. I won't be able to actually get into a PC. So um, if you want to chat or hang, you know, just sign on Twitter, you can chat there. Uh, but yeah, I want to thank everybody for watching as always. Like I said, Merry Christmas to everyone here, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, guys, take care. Bye.